All right. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys got your coffee on you. I feel like I can't make a video without coffee now. Uh, welcome back. If you like these kind of quick tutorial videos, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button and like. Today we're going to talk about um, deleting directories and code, and specifically C Sharp. Now, this isn't a WPF video per se. I know I've been doing some WPF, but of course, if you're writing a WPF application with um, C Sharp, .NET, and the code behind, this is applicable to you, right? I'm just going to write this in, in plain C Sharp. And uh, I, I found this old program.cs and uh, I decided to just use it and I went ahead and I did a little bit starting out so I, I didn't bore you, but we can go about how I uh, actually obtained this if that interests you. So um, yeah, let's just talk about how to delete directories in C Sharp. So what I did is I created a new folder on my desktop called New Folder, very, very creative naming. And then I created a, another folder in there and I named it practice. So what I did was you can either just click on it and then um, copy path and right that'll just save it to your clipboard or if you want to you can open this up uh, click up here in the in the path and it'll copy or highlight all of that and then you hit control C and you can copy that way. Um, really either one's up to you. The cool thing about the copy path let me just do that just to show you. Let me delete this right here is when you paste it, it actually puts it in quotes if we were to just copy the path um, up here it would not put it in quotes so that's a little bit of a time saver I guess if you would rather do it that way and then as we pasted the path you can see what these backslashes C sharp is really um, angry about that it shows you what the red squiggly so to get rid of those we just put an at symbol in the front and that kind of tells C-sharp to yeah, just chill out about those backslashes. It's, it's part of the string. Okay, so now we have the path of that practice directory that I showed you. Uh, to delete it, it's actually pretty simple. We need one using statement. So using system.io. Okay, and then the way to delete it was we do directory.delete and then we insert the path. You can see the parameter that's looking for. There's actually um, two that we can use, uh, but th the default one, I guess, is just wanting the path of the string. So we're just going to path pass in that path string. That's hard to say. Um, so we'll go ahead and try running that, and we'll see if it does delete my directory or not. There it is. You can see it's gone, right? We no longer have a practice directory. And there's a caveat to this. So let's say I create some kind of directory in my code or or what whatever the case may be, and for some reason or another, um, there's some kind of file in that directory. And there's a file or many files, it really doesn't matter. So let's do test.txt. Now we have a file in this practice um, practice directory, right? So let's go ahead and let's put a try block around this. If you're unfamiliar with what a try block is, essentially what it does is it just runs this as normal, and then if something bad were to happen, and we put a catch, something bad were to happen, uh, it would spit out what's actually wrong without uh, or with us knowing, rather than we just run it and something doesn't work. And uh, so, what am I doing? Console dot right line. Sorry, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't think and uh, talk at the same time apparently. And type, very multitasking. So what we did is we're trying to run this, and then if something bad were to happen, call an exception, we would write that exception message, whatever the error may be, on the console. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it's going to say to us. Here's the exception. The directory is not empty. Right? And then if we go ahead and we look at this, we'll see, hey, it didn't it didn't delete this at all. Because of the fact that it's not empty. It's kind of like a safeguard that C sharp applies that you know maybe maybe the programmer or maybe the user doesn't actually want to delete that directory if there's stuff in it. Right? It's kind of like a uh, a little safety shield. So you can actually put another 
uh, parameter in this directory.delete method. And the second parameter is essentially what it's doing. It's, it's may named a recursive, but it's going through and it's deleting everything inside of that directory as well. So now if we go ahead and run it, we see we no longer get that exception at the top that it's no longer empty. All right. So now if we look, it's now deleted. So now you have two ways of deleting. You can either delete only if it's empty by not passing true as well. Um, it's false by default, so we don't even have to do like false because that's what it is by default, right? We just saw that. So you can just pass the path and it won't delete uh, if there are contents inside of that directory or if you don't care, let's say that it's a bunch of junk. It's a temporary directory or something and you don't care if it gets deleted, then you can pass in this true as the second parameter and it'll go through and delete everything in that as well. Um, so hopefully you guys found this you know, useful and maybe you had a question on this particular directory.delete and hopefully that answered your question. So thanks guys for watching. Um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, take care.